Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome uh, to this Monday morning, uh, Monday morning ed- edition of the Summer Devo. We're so glad. I'm so glad that you're here. Thank you for starting out your day uh, in the Word. Thank you for starting out your day here on the Summer Devo. Put your name in the comments. Uh, let us know who's watching. Also, put a prayer request in there. We would love to be praying together uh, as we start off this week. And what a Sunday. My goodness, we had such a just an awesome Sunday together and just seeing so many lives touched and changed in this past um, Saturday, the serve day. Thank you, everyone, for all um, all, the, all the serving, all the making a difference. It's, it's so exciting. And kind of in that vein, we're going to look at what Paul says uh, uh, next here in Ephesians chapter 4, and I want to call this message, uh, this devotion today, You Were Made for This. And we're going to look at the calling on your life, but also uh, I hope you grasp the price that has been paid to make that calling possible. And to say this Monday morning, you're not an accident this Monday morning, what, you, what you're going to, how did you go to work today, as you go about your day. You are somebody who God has great purpose and great plans for. You're, God's called you to make a difference. And so, um, and, and he's not only called you to make a difference, he went to great lengths so that you could make a difference. And uh, Paul says in Ephesians chapter 4, verse 7, um, he has given each one of us a special gift. The word in the Greek there is the word charis. Or where we you'd get the word charismatic, and I think sometimes we think, well, there's yeah, certain people they're charismatic, um, you know, they have a gift, they have a gift, they're gifted, and God says no, He's given each of us a special gift. How through the generosity of Christ, that's why the scriptures say, and watch watch what Jesus did to give you the gift that's in your life, um, and and this is why it's so bad whenever we denigrate the gift. On our life, that's why Satan wants to do this. Not, it's not about you and me. It's about um, the the image of God that's on our lives. It says, when he ascended to the heights, this is speaking of Jesus. He led a crowd of captives, and he gave gifts to people. Notice that it says he ascended. This clearly means that Christ also descended to our lowly world, and the same one who descended is the one who ascended higher than all the heavens so that he may fill the entire universe with himself what a what a beautiful poetic way of speaking of the incarnation jesus coming to earth jesus conquering death hell and the grave dying on the cross and raising again why did he do all that that's what paul's asking why what was the purpose behind um, what jesus has done for us it was so that he could give you a gift. He goes on to say, Now these are the gifts Christ gave to the church, the apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers. Verse 12, Their responsibility is to equip God's people to do His work and to build up the church, the body of Christ. So first God gave each person a gift, a charis, but then here's another gift that God's given us, and that's the ministry, the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, pastors, and teachers. And this is something that I, um, this is something that has has been so encouraging to me. Um, really, since we started City Hills, this has been a a shift that God's done in my heart in the Scripture. I, I always thought the purpose of the ministry the you know the pastors the teachers evangelists the prophets all these different types of aspects of the fivefold ministry i thought their job was to do the ministry imagine that they you know we would even say oh that person's a minister um and according to ephesians 4:12 the responsibility of these people these roles these gifts is to equip the people for ministry, to equip God's church for ministry. So in other words, you're the minister and and I'm the equipper. And that's 
that that shift changed everything in my heart and life because when we say each and every week God has a ministry on your life, I mean that to the deepest uh, part of me because I really believe that this is my calling to help equip you into the ministry that God's called that God's called you. And so there's a ministry for your life. You're you're not just someone who's going through aimlessly through life today on this Monday morning. God has a ministry for you, a calling for you uh, to make a great difference. Um, and it's my privilege as part of this um, this gift from God to you to encourage you and to equip you to, on this Monday morning uh, to rise up and do what God's called you to do. So I, I want to do that a little bit. I want to equip I want to equip you a little bit this morning, give you just some ideas of how to make a difference today, how to live out your calling today. Uh, three simple ways to live out your calling uh, today. Here's the first one with your manner. Your manner of life today. So as you as we go about today, think about your your manner of life. The way that you live makes a difference. The way that you deal with uh, difficult situations today on the job make a difference. The way you uh, deal with um, maybe uh, your kids and the situations at home, or uh, we all have different circumstances that we're going to face today, and that's different for everyone. In our manner of life, how we respond to that. Uh, makes a difference. The scripture says in Colossians chapter 4, verse 5, be wise in the way that you act toward outsiders. Make the most of every opportunity. You're going to have opportunities today. It says, let your conversation always be full of always be full of grace, seasoned with salt, so that you may know how to answer everyone. So make sure you're seasoning <laughs> Uh, your conversation with salt, instead of just getting upset with people today, instead of just kind of uh, taking uh, difficult situations and pouring gasoline on them, but but rather allow the manner of life, the way that your conversation is, the way that you smile at people today, the way that you are deferential or open doors or kind, um, allow that to be an example um, your manner of life. Here's the second way that you can step into your ministry today. Step into your moment. This day is not an accident. This Monday is not an accident. Um, Ephesians 5.16 says, Be careful how you live. Don't live like fools, but live like those who are wise. Watch this. Make the most of every opportunity in these evil days. People say, Oh, the days, oh, it's so evil. It's so bad. And Yes, there are difficult things. There are we are, these are evil days, but that's no excuse for us not to step into the evil day. We have the hope that the evil day needs. His name's Jesus. It says uh, verse 17, don't act thoughtlessly, but understand what the Lord wants you to do. Understand today is a day that God has made and he's put you in specific places to make an eternal difference for the kingdom of God today. So use your manner, uh, use your moment, and lastly, use your message. You have a message. We have a message. The message is what Jesus has done in our lives. And that's why it's so powerful that, w- that, that the body of Christ is the minister. Because there are people that will listen to you that would never, li- that would never uh, listen to me. The, the people that I don't know, people that I'm not connected with. But God's put people in your path so that you can share the message of Jesus. 1 Peter first 3 verse 1 Peter 3:15 says this always be prepared to give an answer to everyone who asks you to give the reason for the hope that you have. So be ready today to to give an answer for what Jesus has done in your life. See if you live in such and if you live in a manner of life that that is focused on making a difference, and you you live that this moment is God ordained in my life. This Monday matters. Um, thirdly, you'll begin to under you, other people will want to know about that hope, and you'll be able to tell them about what Jesus has done in your life. Let's conclude uh, this portion of scripture. Paul can Paul can, continues. This will continue until we all come to such unity in our faith and knowledge of God's Son, that we will be mature in the Lord, measuring up to the full and complete standard of Christ. This is God's plan, that we would be grow, that we would grow, that we would become mature, that we would grow 
what a measure. To the measure of the fullness of the stature of Christ. To be, wow, God has big plans for us. Big plans for you. So let's, let's step into our calling today and let's make a difference. Let's pray together. Lord, thank you so much uh, for this Monday morning. Lord, we were made for this Monday. Thank you that we were made for this. Lord, use us today to make a difference in your kingdom. Lord, we thank you and we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. City Hills family, have a great day. Can't wait to see you. Hey, well, Monday through Thursday this week, we'll be here on the Summer Devo. So join us. Let's start our days off here in the Word. God bless you. I hope you have an amazing week. Let's circle the promise this week. What do you say? God bless you. Thank you.